Welcome back to United Gamers Authority. I'm Shade Hunter, and today I'm going to show you how to mod Conan Exiles. Let's get to it. To begin modding Conan, the first thing you're going to do is go to the Steam store here or wherever you have it. Um, the only reference I have is for PC. So if you're on any console, no idea. I have no idea how you guys do it on there. So you will have to continue looking. I'm sorry. But from the Steam store, you will have this tab here called the Workshop. And you will want to click on said Workshop button. And then you will have this screen. And you will, have, and you will want to type in whatever mod you're looking for. Or you can just kind of browse the popular ones. Um, I'm not going to dig into it too much because there are things that I cannot show. Just like the one that I'm blacking out down at the bottom. I don't know if I will get in trouble for that. So I'm blacking it out. If you already have mods, you will want to uh, to see what mods you have. You can go to browse and subscribed items. And this will give you a list of all of your subscribed items. Now, sometimes when you launch a game, it crashes. Uh, specifically Conan, sometimes it will crash. Especially if you do have some mods on, if the game has updated and the mods have not, sometimes it will crash. Or sometimes it just won't update. So to force it to update so that your mods will actually function, you want to go to hover over your Conan Exiles. You want to right-click on it. Properties. Then go to Local Files and verify the integrity of game files. Once you do that, if that still didn't work, then you want to actually go to the workshop itself. And then whatever mods you actually have enabled in your game, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. You want to unsubscribe and then subscribe immediately back to it. And what that does is it removes and install reinstalls the mod and then it will reinstall the most up-to-date version. Sometimes I've noticed there were updates and it didn't actually kick off to update my mods, so I have to force it that way. So, back here. Well, how do you implement the mods? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run it. You can do it in the game or you can do it right here. Right here's easier. On the left is all your available mods that you have installed. On the right are the ones you actually have activated to run. I always use Pippi. And I will show you what that looks like on the in Steam. There's the Pippi page. I have greater camera distance. I can show you that one. And you're going to be looking for the this icon on the right when you're looking through all the mods. Immersive armors, which is always fun. It, it adds all kinds of interesting things to it. Fashionist, which I absolutely love. It gives you a style that you can be showing and have something completely different as your actual armor. That's the big thing that I love about it. Uh, stack size plus. This is the one that I was mentioning before where I increase the stack sizes. So that it makes it easier to go get materials. Less building placement restrictions. This allows me to place building pieces easier. 
um, like this says right here, you can actually put fence fences over a door frame to make a bigger window. Um, you can also have ceiling tiles overlap foundations so they look different. Um, the fences will overlap walls as well. It's really cool. Uh, pick up plus. This makes it possible to pick up things when other times it wouldn't let you. Those have custom UI. This is why my UI looks different. Uh, you can move this thing wherever you want. Uh, there's also a way to turn off your uh, action bar at the bottom. Uh, as I know some people like that. They turn off their action bar and then move their all their health stuff to the bottom of the screen. Now, the picture right there, that is from a totally different mod set that we will be getting into way later. And then mod control panel, that is actually now required with less building placement restrictions. And I'll show you that as well. And that's what that one looks like. So, what do all these do in the game? Pippi is just a server admin management system. I will be doing a complete guide as much as I know about Pippi. There are so many things you can do with it. It's awesome. Uh, greater camera distance, that all that does is make it to where you can zoom out farther. That's how I get those wide angle shots. Immersive armors, that only adds... They've changed it. It doesn't actually add armors anymore. The only thing it does is essentially add skins that you can use in the um, sorcery bench, which I'll show you when we get into the game what that can do. So there's no actual armors, functional armors anymore that I've found. Uh, fashionist, again, it's just a visual thing. Stack size plus, I already mentioned that, increases the stack size. And I've already kind of explained what these others are. So nothing that actually fundamentally changes the game. You can still run vanilla alongside with me and you'll be fine. You just will have smaller stack sizes than me. So let's go ahead and jump into the game and I will show you what some of these things do for me. All right, so we are back in the game and that named thrall over there is fighting the Stalebacks again, then he's going to be damaged, and then he's going to come over here, and then he's going to pick a fight with my guards, and my guards are going to tear him apart. Anyway, as we were saying, he's just going to die. This, don't worry about this, that's getting set up for another video. I'm also getting other places set up for other videos all over the map. So, yay. Oh, I fixed it. Yay. So the other day, I forgot to um, turn off nudity. And she was completely naked standing there. So I had to um, cut the video at one point. It was funny. So, stack size plus. I already mentioned you can go up to pretty much any box as long as you are in admin mode. You can go up to any box and change the stack size. Now, the most I like to do is 10. Some people insist on making it 100. I really do not like that because it makes the stack sizes ridiculously large where it doesn't make sense, in my opinion. So, I only like going to 10. Again, UI is up here. Now the UI settings or the whole UI, the reason mine's blue and or and green up there is because I went down here to my UI settings. You see what? In the inventory down here in the bottom left. UI settings and you can change it. Now there is a mini map that shows up on here. It will show up somewhere on your screen. On mine, it normally shows up in the top right, which covers up my journey steps, so I don't like that. I move it to the bottom right. Now, if you have the mini map on and you go into a dungeon, 
it breaks. Sometimes it fixes itself, sometimes it doesn't. It is nice to have, but I've gotten so used to not having it that it doesn't bother me. But right now, we'll keep it on for, for that. You can also have the XP that shows up on my screen comes from this. There's all kinds of different things you can change and customize your game to the way you like it so that it's more personalized so you don't have to do what they want you to do. Which I love. Uh, let's see here. What else do I have on here? Uh, Fashionist. That is here as well. Fashionist also allows you to... Uh, these are two new options. The NPC specific display options for weapons, tools, and brawl specific stuff. You can actually go in here and show everything. And so when you change things, you need to save things. I, I do this on a regular basis. I have used Fashionist for the past three years. And it has always had a save button. Now, there are also admin options that you can change stuff for the... For everything I don't know what you would want to do uh, what type of stuff the die system I guess you could turn that off so people can't use it um, which is entirely possible um, so yeah I don't mess with that I just keep it on the player stuff save close and now it should show my weapons on my body which is kind of cool now are you guys gonna show your weapons no Come on, how about you? Are you going to show your weapons? No, oh, she's emoting, so let me tell her to stop. Yep. Now she's got her mace and shield on her. I'm not a huge fan of it, so I generally just turn it all off. Uh, depending on what I... If I'm doing just daggers and bows, I'll keep it on. Because I think the bow on the back looks really cool. Alright, so what else do we got going on? We have... Immersive Armors. This is going to give us... Oh, it's under building pieces, under sorcery. Really? Honestly, that's kind of a odd place to put it. it should be under decorations because that's all this is. Oops, wrong button. So, you come in here and you make this stuff called Illusion Residue and a wooden wand, which is... right there. And then what that does is give you the um, this residue. You need plant fiber and stone. And then you take the residue and you can make anything. And everything is made with the residue. And the only things these do is give you an item to be able to put into the appearance slot of this bench and put your source stat there. So if I wanted my axe to look like um, Wrath of Ymir, then I could put Wrath of a Mirror in appearance slot and combine it, and then this axe would look like that. But that's actually dual weapons, so that wouldn't work. Um, do they even have just axes? But anyhow, you can see all the different stuff that it does. All it is is visual. That's all it is. That's how you mod it. And you can stack so many mods on this game, it is ridiculous. Um, that's that. Next episode, I'm hoping to have a new base location decided. And we will go scope that out. And I will get a bunch of materials um, between this next this episode and next, so we can maybe um, 
kind of scope it out and maybe do some maybe do a build video so I can show some different tips and tricks on how to get some builds done uh, but next episode definitely I want to kind of scope out one place I've been thinking about let me hear your opinions where do you think I should move to because I do want to move north so I do have a couple of options um, I've got this one And there's there's three. There's two. Oh, there's two. Yeah, two's right up here, right near the uh, Mounds of the Dead. But we'll go through all those different uh, options. Kind of have those looking looking at. So we'll uh, decide on where I'm going to be moving to. Thank you all very much. Really do appreciate it. If anything I showed was remotely helpful, please hit the like button. If you're new and you want to get notifications, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you know I put new videos out. All of our links are in the description below. We are in the process of designing new merch. Um, one of the designs is already done. So go check that out. And if you want your own servers, go ahead and hit up aim to game because they are providing all of our servers. Thanks again. I'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.